On February 28th, a single artist who previously allowed content on YouTube issued dozens of copyright strikes at the same time. The Lemmy Caution channel, one of the largest karaoke channels on YouTube, received three of these, instantly making their over 3,300 videos unavailable. Lemmy Caution attempted to reach out to the artist and did not receive a reply, let alone any way to resolve the issue. Note that Lemmy Caution has always been willing to respond and take down any work an artist does not want available, and the tracks for which the strikes were issued were on the channel for years, with ad revenue going to the copyright owner, not to Lemmy, because they used the original audio. At this point, the channel has likely been permanently removed from YouTube, thousands of hours of work gone. This was not the first karaoke channel eliminated by YouTube's three-strike system, and it will certainly not be the last. While we understand that some parts of YouTube's policies are necessary to follow U.S. copyright law and keep a revenue deal in place, there are some common sense changes that could be made. Number one, takedown requests for multiple videos from the same copyright owner should be treated as a single strike per channel in the three-strike system. Number two, the age of videos should be taken into account in some way, especially if the copyright owner has been knowingly profiting on them through the copyright ID system. Number three, all owners of channels with three strikes should still have access to the YouTube UI to contest the strikes and to download their videos locally. Currently, only channels in the partner program have access during the grace period, and anyone else can only communicate via email, fax, or mail.